Welcome back to my channel, Adventures with Amira. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you came over from the Outlander video that I made recently, thank you guys so much for stopping by as well. I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the places that we stayed recently on our trip to Scotland. We stayed at three different hotels during our eight days in Scotland. We flew into Glasgow and we stayed there and then we took a private transfer over to Edinburgh and we stayed there a few days and then we got a rental car and we went up to the Highlands. So I've got quite a variety of hotels to share with you guys. So let's get into it. Our first hotel that we stayed at was the Doubletree Suites in Central Glasgow. Hi everyone, we just got to Scotland. It's about 5.30 in the morning and we just got off an eight hour flight. So it's already daylight here. So we're gonna go ahead and try to close the curtains and get a little bit of sleep and then head out for the day. I did wanna show you guys the room here at the Doubletree Hilton in Central Glasgow. They're really modern, updated rooms and I'll show you guys the closets. They have a pretty good space. The light comes on automatically when you open the doors. And they have a safe in here and an ironing board and iron. They have two chairs here over by the windows. And here's our view. We're actually up on the second floor. Here's the coffee station. You've got a variety of teas and different little coffee products. It's a rather large room actually. And then here's a TV that's integrated into this unit here on the wall. This is where you come into the room. There's a full length mirror here. And then the bathrooms here are rather large as well. They have nice lighted mirrors here. And these are the toiletries they offer here. Crabtree and Evelyn, Verbena and Lavender. These are the complimentary items you can pick up down at the desk. And this is what the rest of the bathroom looks like. They have the same type of verbena and lavender soap. And that's our tour of our room. For any of you guys who aren't familiar with Double Tree Sweets by Hilton, they offer fresh baked cookies for everyone that checks in and they're always warm. And this is what they look like. They look like they're chocolate chip with maybe a little bit of oatmeal and nuts added in. The hotel was really nice. We got the package that came with breakfast and their breakfast buffet was really nice as well. Right. But the location was great for restaurants, for stores. There was so much shopping, literally like a uh, half a block away. The Doubletree does not have an exchange in the hotel, so you need to be aware of that, that if you don't do your exchange of money to go from US dollars to pounds before you get there, then you can just do it once you arrive, but they don't have it at the hotel, so you can go around the corner to do we it. We took a cab out of there to go to Glasgow University and also to the Kelvin Grove Museum, which I would highly recommend. That's a free museum there in Glasgow, and I'll be doing a separate video on things that we did as well as foods that we ate while we were in Scotland, souvenirs that we bought. I'll do a whole different video on those as well. So we stayed here for two nights, and next up we went to the Waldorf Astoria, over in This room has these beautiful wall sconces. And this is a two double bedroom. We just had room service. And then here's the view from our window. This is a castle view room. And that's Edinburgh Castle. Absolutely stunning. So the bathroom for this room is over here. 
first you come to a set of closets. And then there's another closet right next to that. This is where your safe is. And some extra drawers. And then here's the bathroom. This is a lighted mirror. And then they have Salvatore Ferragamo products. stay at Waldorf Astoria's but honestly all of the hotel rooms that I had been looking at previously when I went to book them were sold out I did not realize it was the same weekend as the Edinburgh Marathon which actually Sam Hugan ran in he and Katrina I think ran in that marathon so they were running literally right by us and I didn't even know that they were in the marathon because that was the day we were going up to Edinburgh Castle but we ended up booking at the Waldorf because we're Hilton Honors members and they're part of the Hilton family now. And I thought, well, this is kind of expensive, but it'll be the one splurge of our trip. When we got to the hotel, it looked really, you know, beautiful from the outside. It's a historic building. It actually is the old train station known as the Caledonian. So most people there call it the Cali or the Caledonian instead of the Waldorf because I think Waldorf bought the hotel out. But the rooms and stuff just... We had a lot of issues with that hotel. Who would have guessed that our most expensive and luxurious, supposedly, hotel would have been nowhere near to the standards that you would think of for a luxury hotel? I much more preferred the Doubletree Suites over the Waldorf Hotel. And the number one reason was they didn't have heat in their bathrooms and there was a window over the toilet and a window right next to the shower and neither one of them had any type of soundproofing or insulation or anything we were up on the top floor which is the fifth floor of the hotel and you could hear everything anybody was saying on the street below and they didn't have any like blackout blinds or anything on them either to kind of you know insulate against noise and the cold air coming through the cracks around the windows and stuff and it was completely frozen in the bathroom my teeth were chattering it was so cold and you could see your breath so i called down to the front desk and i said oh my goodness you know that i don't know if the heat is not working in the bathroom and i noticed there were no vents there were no vents for the closet that you walk through or the bathroom both areas and i thought how in the world do they heat them so i'm calling the front desk saying you know is there any way maybe i could get a heater up here because i have to you know my children have to get a shower when they get up and i was there's no way i'm gonna let them take a shower in this bathroom i mean it is freezing cold. no there was so much cold air coming through the windows that you know it was just like a constant breeze through there and the guy was just like acting like he didn't know what i was talking about and i was like okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and take my shower literally i thought i was gonna have icicles hanging out of my hair when i got out of that shower because i had to wash my hair too and it was so cold that they had robes and stuff but i was like trying to figure out how to get the towel bar to, <laughs> to come on and i was I had a robe over that and i was like please God, I hope I don't end up with pneumonia on this trip because it was so cold. So I go down to the front desk and I ask to speak to the manager 
And she says, oh my goodness, it should not be like that. I said, well, it's a historical hotel. So I thought maybe, you know, that just, there's no insulation. Because so when I went to speak to the manager, she sent a maintenance person up and he was just so nice. And he walked in, he had a temperature gauge. And this was later on in the day where it had warmed up quite a bit. It was probably around 11 that morning. And it was sunny that day. And he goes, oh my heavens. He was like, it's only 45 degrees in this bathroom. Which means when I took my shower, it was probably about 30 degrees, he said. And I was like, what in the world? He was like, I'm so sorry, ma'am. We don't have heat vents. When they remodeled, they didn't put heat vents in the bathroom and they won't allow you to have heaters in here. I don't know if they're afraid people would get electrocuted or something. I don't know, because I was thinking you could put the heater where the carpet was in the closet to kind of blow heat into the bathroom at least. But there was also this horrible, horrible odor in the hallway. And when I say horrible, I mean it smelled like dead rats everywhere and it was only on our floor it was very interesting because we went to different floors um because the staircases in this hotel are absolutely beautiful and they have stained glass so we just kind of went through to see that none of the other floors smelled like that it was only our floor and i mean as soon as the elevator doors would open it would almost knock you out it smelled so rancid and just this putrid pungent odor and I told the manager and they came up and they couldn't figure out what it was. And I'm like, am I the only person that noticed this? Like it was so bad that we put towels under our door of our hotel room to keep the smell from coming in. And I had peppermint oil and stuff with me because I have all these essential oils that I keep. I was like dribbling peppermint oil trying to keep that smell out because it was so nauseating. And my daughter was getting sick from it. And they couldn't figure out what that was either. And I thought, gosh, you know, for this really luxurious hotel, this doesn't seem <laughs> very luxurious at the moment, especially for the price, because the price was almost three times what we paid for our other hotels. So I would not recommend the Waldorf for that reason. The lobby itself was nice as far as where the tea room was, and I inserted a video clip of that as well. But like when you first go to check in, there's nowhere for you to sit. And we came in about 2.45 and our room wasn't ready. Check-ins at three. Because the tea room, the, which is essentially what you would think would be the lobby of the hotel, was only for guests who had booked to come have tea that afternoon. So even though there were all these available chairs and tables, apparently they were reserved and there's nowhere for guests who are checking in to sit. So we went to another part of the hotel, which is kind of like a lounge, and we ordered some food. And about 45 minutes later, our room was finally ready and the food was still not ready. All we ordered was a hamburger and some French fries and I think one other thing. As far as the comfort of the beds, the beds were super comfortable. The room was relatively clean. I didn't have any problems with that. The bathroom looked absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it was all marble and stuff, but marble and no heat is extremely cold. The view out the window, which is probably what a lot of the price was, was beautiful. It was a very small window, which I inserted a picture of that. Yeah. Very lucky. One day was kind of foggy and misty where you could barely see the castle out the window, and another day it was absolutely breathtaking. It's a very small window, but my children loved being able to climb up there and look out the window. The location of the hotel is great. It's right by the Royal Mile. It's very easy to get up to the castle from there. We pretty much walked everywhere we went. And you can walk all the way down the Royal Mile and back and not have any problems getting to and from your hotel. So for location, it was spectacular. But just be aware for the price that you're paying, you may be able to find a better value elsewhere. If we go back, I would love to stay, I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly, the Balmoral. But they were all booked up when we were there too, probably from all the marathon runners. So I've heard that's a really beautiful hotel if you're looking for something a little bit more high end. All right, on to the next.